Hello everyone. As you know, I've been modding Resident Evil games for the last 4 years and it has been one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life. I have always wanted to create my very own Resident Evil games. To achieve that dream, I spent years slowly reversing Capcom's code and it was like the most thrilling roller coaster ride. However, as time has gone on and my modding projects have gotten larger in scale and ambition, bigger and bigger restrictions and limitations begin to creep in with these old game engines. One thing I learned from this, was that thinking outside of the box can certainly allow you to achieve things in creative ways, but some things are almost impossible without access to the source code of the games. After releasing Resident Evil Containment, I took a little downtime and created that short proof of concept demo mod Resident Medieval as a way to try and fight back against the burnout I was feeling. Despite the mod being fun to make and something totally new, it only added to it. I took a little time out as explained in the previous video, and around the middle of December 2023 I decided to fight back against the burnout by learning to program in a game engine. I wanted to create something truly original from the ground up that didn't rely on these old game engines anymore. Eventually I went with Go.4 as it was a lightweight, portable, yet very powerful engine for making games. Fast forward one month later to the end of January 2024 and this is the result. My very own Resident Evil game engine. So far my engine has many features of the classic game series including fully 3D rendered environments, tank controls, fixed camera angles, walk and run cycles, environmental messages, items to pick up, a basic inventory system, an aiming system which makes the player turn slower allowing the player to line up shots more accurately, zombies. The undead have randomized states, some will hunt you down the moment you enter the room but others are in a dormant idle state and only react to being shot at, or, if you get too close to them. Zombies will also grab and take a bite out of the player if they get too close, so watch out. Flashlights. Perfect for those dark and dangerous environments. Locked doors which require keys to be opened. There is still more work to be done such as adding various puzzle types and expanding the inventory system, but overall my engine is incredibly easy to modify and progress has been so fast that it won't be long before the rest of these features are fully implemented. I guess you might be wondering why I am making my own engine when I could continue to use the original Resident Evil games and modify them. Well, as I mentioned before, the limitations are one thing which hold back my ideas and ambitions. And to be honest, while it's possible to do some very crazy things through incredibly complex scripting, I just feel the amount of time and effort it would take to get it working would be far better spent learning how to make my very own game engine. Also, with this being my own engine, everything is totally scalable. I've gone with the classic 90s PlayStation look, but it can also support much higher polygon models and higher resolution textures as you can see in this example with models taken from Resident Evil Outbreak. With all of this, the creative and visual possibilities for Resident Evil fan games is almost limitless. Thank you all again for your continued support and I hope you're as excited about the future of my Resident Evil fan games as I am. I'll have a playable demo for you all to try very soon when I get those last few features implemented. I can't wait for you to try it.